Good day, I'm Earl Cannonbear, and today we're going to take a look at the French cleat filament spool holder that I have designed. Stick around. So let's talk about why I wanted to have my filament uh, mounted to a French cleat above my printer. I found myself changing the filament quite often, and with the way the filament is normally mounted behind the printer, it was kind of a pain uh, to change the filament. So I thought it would be nice to have the filament up top, or I could have two or three rolls uh, ready to go at all times. The other thing that I had an issue with was that I had to physically walk up and look behind the printer to see how much filament I had left and the status of the filament spool, if it was a jam or whatever. So I decided to mount the filament above. And I really like how my French cleat system's working in my studio. So I decided to mount the French cleat right above the printer and uh, see if I could find a way to mount the filament. So it turns out I'm not alone in my desire to mount the filament above the printer using a French cleat. I found a couple designs on Thingiverse that I will show you right now. Um, I forget the gentleman's name or the user's name, but uh, you'll see that in the screen grab. And I did find uh, one also on my mini factory that I will show you as well. I did attempt to print out one of the designs that I found on Thingiverse, but it was designed for a larger printer, so I ended up having to cut it in half or use the design that was made for smaller printers and uh, glue it together and it just seemed overly complicated for what I needed. So I decided to see if I can design my own. And I'll have links to those uh, files I found on Thingiverse and my mini factory down below. So my first version was just basically a test to see if I could get a working prototype. And uh, I did, it ended up being a two piece part with a jack and a plug on one end, goes together and does that. So I printed this out on my uh, Robo R2, obviously, and uh, just using some generic PLA. And I got uh, some time lapse from Octoprint going right now. So as you can see, it does work. There is a little bit of slop because the two pieces are not connected, either on the back or the front but it does work. But I thought maybe there'd be a better way to, to design that. So my second version, I added a sort of a chamfered back part to the two pieces so they would uh, slip in together and not move as much. And then I added a screw to the front so the two would actually screw together. I printed this out on uh, my Robo R2 using some other Pretty generic PLA. Show you some time-lapse footage of that now. Again, Octoprint for the win. So as you can see, the two parts are connected in the back and the screw in the front. So now the question is, should I have some sort of mechanism in the back, like another screw to keep the back more securely connected? I guess that's my question for uh, version three. I don't know. What do you think? I have version two on Thingiverse and my mini factory. If you want to go and download it and check it out, I also have links or the link to the public file for uh, Fusion 360. If you want to actually download the file and play with it yourself, do a remix or what have you. So look at the uh, description to find those links. So please let me know if you do decide to download those files. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think, if we need to uh, add a screw to the back or if you think it's going to work long term the way it is. So that's it for now. I've been Earl Cannonbear for 1130 Tech. If you found some value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. As for that, take care, eh?